There are at least three million people displaced inside Syria, and most of them have been displaced uh, multiple times looking for safe places to stay. Thousands of refugees are crossing the border every day, and NRC has programs in Iraq, in Jordan, and in Lebanon to help people access basic services and seek much-needed protection. The camp you see behind me, Zatri Refugee Camp, only came into being on the 29th of July of last year. Already it hosts around 100,000 people, and this is, uh, of course, just uh, one site. At the moment, NRC provides essential services for in excess of 2,200 uh, new arrivals every day, refugees that have fled the violence in Syria. Looking forwards with current rates of arrival, we're expecting in excess of, a, of one million people by the end of the year. And that, of course, is going to require a huge effort on the part of uh, uh, aid agencies in order to host these people and provide them with essential services and protection. Our children were suffering from the harsh cold weather. NRC distributed the materials to build the porch that you can see behind me as well as an extra layer for the inside of the tents. When you think about large refugee emergencies, most people think about camps. In Lebanon, there are no camps. Over 325,000 refugees have been taken into the communities, into the homes of Lebanese people. I live in this house, they came to me. And we just told, uh, told them, you're welcome to live here. In Lebanon, NRC is rehabilitating empty buildings and homes to create extra space that refugee families can be housed in. We're also ensuring that new arrivals have reliable information about how to enroll their children in school, how to access medical help, and where to find shelter. One group of refugees in Lebanon is particularly vulnerable. Over 30,000 Palestinian refugees from Syria have already fled to Lebanon. A loophole in the international refugee protection system has left these refugees with very little international support. They're being hosted in the camps and gatherings of the original Palestinian refugee families in Lebanon. These camps are already overcrowded. Residents don't have access to regular shelter, emergency health care, and other basic support. Over 100,000 refugees have crossed the border into Iraq. Most of these have settled in the northern part of the country, and authorities there have gone above and beyond to welcome refugees and help them integrate into the local community and the local economy but the sheer numbers are beginning to overwhelm the community's capacity to absorb them. The refugee crisis in Iraq is currently receiving almost no international attention in spite of the scale. This is becoming a forgotten crisis amidst one of the most high-profile refugee crises in the world right now. Until it's safe for Syrians to return home, all of us need to coordinate better, to anticipate needs, and to deliver faster we need to ensure that Syrian refugees have access to all of the rights and assistance that they're entitled to.